So what you're taking a look at is none other than State Senator Verter Freeman Welcome. And we're here at the Banneker Museum. And today we're going to learn a lot more about her because she is somebody you need to know about in the state of Maryland. And here to talk a little bit about that is none other than Shalesa Howard. She is the curator of this exhibit. First of all, you're standing in front of a beautiful quilt of Verta Freeman. Welcome. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the items that are on it? Sure. So this quilt was created by Dr. Joan M. E. Gaither, and it features at the top, you can see a door knocker from her office, from Verta Welcome's office, one of her early Senate campaign flyers, and even a pair of her glasses that she will wear, which she's wearing in the main photo here. A lot of people will want to know, well, why this woman and why did you select her? I selected her because we're talking about the 50th anniversary of the Maryland Commission on African American History and Culture, and she was the legislative backer for the commissions to be created. Um, outside of that, she's a huge, she was a huge advocate for all of Maryland, um, those facing discrimination, those suffering from poor sanitation in their buildings, overcrowding of apartments. She was a force for change and cared about her Marylanders so much. So I wanted to make sure that her legacy was preserved and passed on. Well, first of all, she's being very modest because if I remember correctly, Verda Welcome was the first elected state senator anywhere in the United States. That's yes. pretty amazing. Yes, first black woman to become a state senator right here in Maryland in 1962. The women's organization specifically were critical to her legislative career. She joined the National Council of Negro Women, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, and a vast number of other women organizations. And specifically, the Valiant Women's Democratic um, Association was critical. She went into her community, taught black women um, about the political system, how to vote and register, and, and about the topics that were um, going to be discussed on the ballot. So one of the more fascinating things I think about Verda Welcome is the fact that there was an assassination attempt on her life. Why don't you explain a little bit about that? Yes, so in front of her home in Baltimore, Maryland, when she was getting out of her car, five gunshots flew out. Uh, she was shot through the thigh and through her heel. Um, and she jumped in her car, as you can see in this photo from the Baltimore News American, to protect herself. And a month later, it was found that Ernest D. Young, who was a delegate for Baltimore's 4th District, was the conspirator in all of this. Um, thankfully, despite this, uh, this attempt on her life, she had the support of her community who sent letters and get well cards and offered her tons of support. And the assassination attempt did not deter her from making change in our community. She continued to fight for the rights of Marylanders and to be a force for change. One of the more interesting, we've just basically glossed over the surface. Mm -hmm. We didn't even get to the part where she helped change Morgan State College to Morgan State University. If you want to find out more information about her life and the exhibit here, where should they go? You should go to bdmuseum.maryland.gov or follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Banneker Douglas Museum. Thank you so very much for allowing us to take a peek inside of this exhibit. If you want to find out more information, we'll have that on our website. Now, let's go back to you in the studio.